So today I'm going to do some different stretches. These are my favorite stretches to help get ready for karate training and kind of hit all those major muscle groups that we use when we do um, our Tong Soo Do practice. Um, so here I'll set you guys down and get started and show you what I do. So we're going to do some different exercises to work on mobility. My favorite one to start with are just uh, lunges, so like a kneeling lunge stretch. So you're going to keep your back leg down like this. Make sure you keep your front knee bent and have your toe, your knee go straight forward over your toes. And we'll put our hands on our hips like this. Curl your tailbone forward and then just lean forward into that front knee. That way you can really feel a stretch here. Okay, in the front of your back thigh. And you want to hold these for about 30 seconds each side. Make sure you do both sides. Okay, so next we're gonna hit the other side of our leg and work on our hamstrings. So right from that position, you can even just rock back, let your toes come up on that front leg, and we're gonna fold our body forward, keeping our hips super square towards our front foot. Bring your chest down towards your knees, you can even put your hands on the ground to help you out or use yoga blocks if this is a little bit too intense. And we're going to hold this one for 30 seconds too. We should feel it all on the back of our front leg. Alright, so the next one we're going to do a revolved straddle, so we're going to focus more on our back and our core, opening up that so that we can get lots of twisting and rotation in our upper body. That's good for punching. So we're going to start off in a straddle like this with your legs straight, toes going forward, and you can put your hands right under your face. I'm going to post my one hand, doesn't matter which one, I'll start with my right, right here and keeping my hips square towards the floor. I twist to open my upper body and get my back involved. And see if you can get your hand all the way up towards the ceiling. And you can hold that for about five seconds. Bring your hand back down and switch the other side. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna do that about 10 times each side, but you can go as many as you want, maybe up to 20. Right, so next we're going to focus more on our hips. So we're going to go all the way down to the floor like this. Put your hands down in front, knees go super wide. And I want to align my feet right up with my knees. So my knees should be bent about a 90 degree angle. Same thing with my ankles. Okay, from here, bring your body close to the floor. And I'm going to slowly push backwards to open up my hips. We call this a frog stretch. Keep your tailbone tucked under towards the floor. Squeeze your belly and then slowly push your body back with your hands. It's pretty intense, so go slow. Hold it for about 30 seconds. All right, next, so now we're gonna hit the other sides of our hips on the outside. I'm gonna start off by putting my hands down on the floor, kind of like I'm in a push-up position. Then take one leg you're going to slide your knee all the way up, right in between your hands. Let your other knee come down. Make sure your toes are pulled back towards your head, or sorry, back towards your knee on this bottom leg that we're putting up. And then I'm going to let my hips sink down towards the mat while keeping my chest and my hips square towards the front. This one's pretty intense, this is your pigeon stretch. So hold this for about 30 seconds, then we'll do the other side. If you want to make it more intense, you can bring your elbows down onto the floor. Alright, so 
Those are some of my favorite stretches for Tang Soo Do. Make sure you guys are doing this stuff at